भगवतु ओम सहना सहनौ Thank you very much. And our third speaker is going to be Avantika Gauri. If you could please come to the stage. Thank you, Kishore, Anant, and Avantika. And actually, for the team club, I think the better person to get in touch would be Vasant. Uh, he's heading that, uh, I think, the council. Uh, you know, the, we are really grateful to the temple to, for providing this space to parents and uh, children to learn about our tradition. But we also need to support the, you know, the whole effort. And before I call upon Vasant, uh, I think we should all raise applause to the three teachers who are conducting the adult classes, uh, Dr. Sane. Professor Prasanna Kumar couldn't uh, make it, he lost his elder brother. And then Professor Rambachan is, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Rambachan is in England, so he had to stay home. But uh, thanks to all three of them. So now I'd like to invite Vasant, uh, who's heading the fundraising committee here in the Mandir. He and his wife, Suparna, have been contributing to the, uh, you know, functioning of the temple in many, many ways. Suparna is also a level two teacher, and you can always see them participating in our cultural and other functions. So I'd give the mic to Vasant. Thank you, Vishal. Namaste. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, today, uh, as everybody saw, uh, we had a nice journey uh, through our heritage, our culture, our religion, our values. All this could not have been possible if the seed was not sown in 1970s. So with elders like Dr. Sane and others, they started the Hindu temple uh, with uh, uh, the temple in the downtown the Paul Street uh, venue that many of you may already know. So it was started in the 70s and with God's grace we were able to get this temple. Uh, we started the construction in 2003, finished it in 2006 and now we have this wonderful uh, monument. Um, so this, build, this temple was built uh, uh, representing the, all the temples in India. So we have about 18 shrines upstairs and built with the Agama Shastra uh, and it was built by well-known temple architects from India, uh, Sri Mutai Stapati and, and, uh, and uh, Co. 
So this was started and uh, built with the uh, Vastu Sastra uh, principles. So we have a wonderful uh, temple here uh, in our midst. And uh, the temple, it's not just a spiritual or religious institution. It was built with the, with the understanding, with the concept that this will become a focal point uh, for everybody in this community. So this is going to be part of life. And it not only uh, caters to our religious and spiritual needs, it is an educational institution. It is a recreation institution. And as many of you saw, we saw wonderful uh, uh, pieces by the kids and the other scholars today. So, and we are also doing a lot of charitable causes, uh, meaning some of our doctors in the community are uh, serving the needs of the people uh, in the greater Minnesota. So there are a lot of good things happening in the temple and I urge everybody to become uh, involved. Uh, I see many of you have already done so uh, by enrolling your kids in this program. So in summary, uh, this, this temple has many programs, many things to offer that caters to all the age groups. Uh, one way we can, um, uh, the last quote over there, basically it helps our families, our kids, ourselves, our future generation, uh, stay in touch with our culture and our heritage. So it is very, very important. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, we want you to uh, get involved in many, uh, in many ways as a devotee, as a member, uh, as a leader, as a volunteer, and not, not the uh, last but not the least, a supporter as well. Uh, this is very important uh, because we have a we have a big temple. Uh, there are a lot of financial uh, obligations. So uh, some of you may know that this temple is worth nine million dollars, and uh, we have a loan of six million. Uh, we still need to pay that off. Uh, we have uh, annual interest payment of 500k, that's a huge amount. And our monthly operating costs and revenues are about 85k. So we just break even, our operating costs and revenues are almost equal. So, which leaves us with a big hole to pay the, the interest pay off the loan. So that's where we need to focus quite a bit. Uh, the source of funds for us are the fee from the services, uh, meaning hats, uh, the educational service, uh, you're all part of that, uh, the temple services upstairs, those are all the services we provide. But also we depend on the donations uh, from our members. So either in the form of uh, uh, sponsoring the mini temples, or sponsoring a puja, sponsoring the food in the, in the kitchen, so on and so forth. Um, the, con the temple construction is mostly complete, uh, as you may see, uh, outdoors. Uh, some of the final things are getting uh, completed. Uh, but it mostly is into steady state operations now. So we want to make sure that we improve our fi finances, improve our processes, uh, make sure that we streamline them and make sure we cut down our expenses and, and try to pay off the loan as, as quickly as we can. So the best way to do that is we, we would strongly urge and encourage all of you to be involved with the temple, make this a focal point, a part of your life uh, for yourself, your kids and for future generations as well. And, and support it generously. So, uh, next slide, please. So, the temple uh, needs your support. The three methods of support that you can uh, uh, that you can provide. Uh, one is the mini temple sponsorship. Uh, that is the, the temples upstairs. Uh, those would be about 25k and uh, upwards. Uh, there is also a second program called the Jewel of the Temple uh, program, uh, 5,000 to 20,000. Uh, that is, uh, can be paid over five years. And uh, if you do uh, the jewel of the temple don donorship, uh, your name would be on the plaque and uh, it would be uh, like at a sapphire level or a diamond level and so on and so forth. Uh, and some benefits do come out of this, uh, meaning you get some free archinals, your name will be placed on the plaque at a uh, particular place and uh, you can support uh, whatever temple you want, whatever. Uh, facility or the room in the temple. Uh, and then the third is the trusteeship. Uh, initiation fee is $1,000 and uh, every year thereafter it's 500 So this will also provide you an opportunity to be part of the, the temple strategy and the guidance and in, the, in, in its roadmap. So uh, there are other uh, things that uh, are available like the temple uh, uh, services. Uh, you already know about the religious, spiritual, uh, educational, and we also do have uh, yoga classes uh, that we offer here. So there are a lot of health-related activities that also that happen in the temple. 